Hi everybody, happy Easter. I've been asked to do a morning watch for you. So I wanna talk about um, anchor people, people who are just touchstones in our lives. I got a letter this week and it was from this amazing human that has been one of those anchor people in my life for over 50 years. And you know where I met her? Camp. And she was my counselor, and she was my counselor when I was a junior counselor. To give you a really quick synopsis, uh, a bunch of us had been going to camp for years together, and by the time we were junior counselors, we just loved each other so much, and we were just only about ourselves. And the thing about this gal was that she lived in such a way that she exuded everything that you admire in a person. She was so comfortable in her own skin. She delighted in us. She didn't just like us, she loved us and she delighted in us, but she called us higher and she could speak truth in a way that we really listened to because she was so the real deal. And I just wanna say at a time in history when the world is telling you so much about what you're supposed to look like and dress like and act like and all that kind of stuff, I wanna focus you on the touchstone people in your life, just a handful who love you. They so care about you. They believe in you. They've seen you in your messiest mess and they, they may speak truth into your life, but they love you and they're not going anywhere. This girl has been in my life for over 50 years. Here's the deal, we're at Easter and I don't know if you understand how amazingly important you are to God. You're so important that the enemy spends a lot of time trying to mess with you. And the king of the universe thinks you're so important. You, yes, you, I'm talking to you. That he gave his life for you. And if you were the only one on the planet, he would have given his life for you. Like we may be all about looking for the chocolate tomorrow on Easter. But the real deal is that Jesus, who was in heaven, in perfection, chose to come down to destroy the works of the devil, to show you who the father really was and what his heart was like, and to die for you. So he took on all our mess, our selfishness, our sins. He took it all on so that we could be fully open to a relationship with the father again. And the father and Jesus and the Holy Spirit and all of heaven, those are the main anchor people. What we want is to be focused on who they say we are. And sometimes these anchor people in our lives are the ones who remind us of how God really feels about us. Do you know, I just got a phone call from somebody who said, I was talking to the Lord about you this morning. How long has it been since you've known how much he adores you? It made me cry. How important is that? But here's the thing. Jesus didn't go to the cross and die for us just so we could feel good and hug ourselves and say, yay. He did it because he now lives in us. That first Pentecost when the Holy Spirit came, zap for all the disciples and the apostles. But at your baptism, the Spirit of God himself came to live in you. Why? So that you could do the works that he's done. So you could love the way he loves. So that you could bring the kingdom into your world right now. And that's the kind of thing that so many people have said, camp changes my life. I just have met so many unbelievable people there. That's the kind of world we're trying to create. And my friends... It's not only so that you can know how much you're loved and that's what we want. It's so that you could become someone who is an anchor person for other people. So this Easter, take a minute, thank God for those people in your life. Think about who they are, name them, thank them. Think about the people in your life who could use somebody who loves them like that. Ask the Lord for the grace to be that person. And by the way, Spring comes slowly in the mountains, but it's coming. And that means we can't wait to have you back so soon. The whippoorwill is here again. You know that's always my sign that you're coming. We love you. God bless you. Happy Easter. Go find your anchor people. Love them, thank them, and become one. And thank him, the anchor person of all. Amen.